Life form detected. Jason Edelman presented at Interop Las Vegas in 2016 and discussed automating legacy network devices. He discussed one of the issues that you're going to encounter with network automation and device programmability, and that's namely that only a small percentage of network devices support a programmatic API. Nexus devices support the NX API, some devices support NetConf. Arista supports the eAPI. Some devices support REST APIs. Other devices have their own APIs. But that only accounts for 15 to 20% of devices, he said. The problem is that most devices don't have an API. There are many legacy or traditional network devices out there which don't have an API. And hence, the only way to configure those devices is to use SSH. Now, there's nothing wrong with using SSH. If that's all you've got available, that's what you're going to use to configure network devices. In this course, we're concentrating mainly on the use of Telnet and SSH to configure network devices, because that's what most network devices support. It's very cool these days to talk about NetConf or REST APIs but a lot of traditional network devices don't have these APIs. So some options that we're covering in this course to connect to network devices include Napalm, which is a multi-vendor library. It uses APIs whenever possible, such as when connecting to an Arista device, but it'll use SSH and specifically NetMiko to configure iOS devices using SSH with a focus on managing device configurations. Now, Jason's presentation focuses mainly on Ansible, and you can use Napalm with Ansible. In this course, we're focusing on using Napalm, PyNTC, or PYNTC, or Python Network to Code, and NetMiko for configuring network devices directly through Python. So PyNTC is a multi-vendor library it also uses APIs whenever possible, but will use SSH and specifically NetMiko for configuring network devices. It has some nice options which we can use in both Python and Ansible for saving configurations or showing a device configuration or rebooting a device and so forth. Its focus is system level tasks. Now there's nothing stopping you in your Python code using both Napalm and PyNTC and leveraging the power of both. NetMiko is a multi-vendor SSH client that supports many vendors. It's used both by Napalm and NTC modules, and it provides a great SSH client for configuring network devices, and specifically to tackle the elephant in the room, Cisco iOS devices. PyNTC is available on GitHub. We told that PyNTC is an open source multi-vendor Python library that establishes a common framework for working with different network APIs and device types, including Cisco IOS devices. Its main purpose is to simplify the execution of common tasks, including executing commands on Cisco IOS devices, as an example, copying files, upgrading network devices, rebooting network devices, and saving and backing up network device configurations. Supported platforms include Cisco IOS using SSH and specifically NetMiko, Cisco Nexus OS using PyNXOS, in other words, the NX API, Arista EOS using the eAPI, and Juniper Junos using NetConf. To install PyNTC, you use this command, sudo pip install PyNTC, or you can do an upgrade, or you can clone it from GitHub and install it. 
Examples are given on GitHub, showing you how to do things on network devices, but I'm gonna demonstrate PyNTC practically using GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.